you know, speaking about that, um, specifically with young people as well, because they're very focused, they're very money orientated. And I just think it's it's something that you need to do. You need to spiritually develop yourself and then you'll get to those positions. And I think there's a bit of a paradox here as well, because I think there's one level where you need to know that today we are used to getting our way in a lot of things. What do you mean by that? I mean, like like I told you before, if I wanted to watch a TV program, I would wait. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. If I had to watch a TV program that I liked when I was a child, yeah. I would wait till Tuesday evening. <laughs> wait, well, I'm so you don't get over that. No, I have to mention I, why it's so funny. Go on. It's so funny because our producer before the show told us, Guys, make sure your phone's on silent. <laughs> yeah. And his phone wasn't on silent. Yeah, I'm glad you anyway. made that point. I was, I was just going to pretend it never happened yeah, yeah. and no, carry on. I just like <laughs> embracing it. I like yeah. So as I was saying that, basically, at my generation, if we liked a program, mm. we had to wait one week to see a show. Okay. Now think about that. That desire's in you to watch that show today right now. Yeah. And then I say to you, you have to wait a week. Do people, it's, it's crazy people for today. will drop it they'll forget it forget it they won't it's watch gone, the show right yeah. so what i'm saying is that there's that element of it that we're so used to getting what we want right now on demand okay but the reality of life and this is where a lot of the younger brothers need to kind of think about this the reality of life is not like that okay, okay. now i'm a big believer that we have potential which is way beyond what we think is possible right yeah way beyond that definitely, definitely. but we need to realize that there's also the qadr of Allah, yeah. right? So it might be that the thing you desire most in your life is mm. children, okay? And it might be you get married and you can't have children. Mm. Yeah, it's, this, yeah, this it is this is the qadr of Allah. I'm, I'm not saying you don't try. I would say you try and try and try and enjoy the process of trying, right? Yeah. But you like what, at the end of the day, if it's written for you that you cannot have children, then you will not have it. And so I'm saying. The strength of the believer is rising above that part. Yeah. Right? Saying that, okay, yeah, I want money. Yeah, I want a wife. Yeah, I want a child. Yeah, I want all of this stuff. Yeah. But you know what? Deep down, maybe your qadr is not like that. It's amazing that you mentioned that specific example, example about children. Because recently, I was told about a story of um, someone in a hospital. Mm. And this, this sister, she had cancer. And she's she's currently got cancer, and her and her husband were trying to have a kid, mm. a child for years upon years, years seven eight years, and the doctors specifically said to them, now you have to make sure you don't have kids because she's terminally ill. She's got mm. cancer now, and it can be detrimental for her health and the baby's health. We do not allow this. You cannot have any kids. Mm. Oh. And while she had cancer, she got pregnant. Oh. Okay. And the baby came out perfectly fine. Alhamdulillah, amazing. But the the moral is, Subhanallah, she was she tried for years mm. and she was normal, healthy, yeah. fine. But Allah willed for it to be when she was at her weakest. Exactly. Yeah. And it was yeah. it it worked out perfectly yeah. fine. So it just goes to show what you're saying. The qadr of Allah is something definitely we need to internalize. Moving on.